Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to talk about power inverters from Alpha. Now in the past, you may have seen where I reviewed this 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. This inverter has been absolutely fantastic. In fact, it's one of my go-to inverters that I use currently and it has just served me very well. So I'm pleased to announce to you a new release from Alpha that I want to show you in this video here today. So let's move that out of the way and let's show you this new offering from Alpha. This is a pure sine wave inverter. This is a 3000 watt, 24 volt pure sine wave inverter. So I want to say thank you to the folks at Alpha for sending this new one out for review. The previous one has been absolutely fantastic. So the first thing that we see here in this package is the printout that talks about your operation instructions it does give you some attentions to look at there is some safety warning information after service information and then of course there's a diagram of the power inverter this like I mentioned it is a 24 volt unit but that's no problem all we need to do to get 24 volts is put two batteries in a series two 12 volt batteries now right here there's the product specifications and of course an email address for Alpha if you want to get in touch with them so nice little printout that they include with this power inverter and as you can see when we open the package it's packaged very well we're gonna go ahead and just lift this out nice foam inserts here and it's not much bigger than the previous version even though it's double the amount of output of 3000 watts which is wonderful and then of course on the side of the box you can see that they come in blue black gold or silver and right here we have DC 24 volt they do make 12 volt models 48 volt models and 72 volt models they also have an output of 110 volts that's what we use here in the United States so very very nice and as you can see it comes in this little bag so that's nice that prevents the inverter from getting dusty or dirty uh, so when it arrives to the customer the inverter is very clean so let's take a closer look at this inverter alpha 3000 watt power inverter this will convert 24 volt DC to 110 volt AC and it will output up to 3000 watts it does have a USB A and there's the outputs there and it does have a USB C and there's the outputs there so here's the back portion which looks very similar to the 1500 watt unit you got dual exhaust fans very cool so if we look at the previous one it's very similar very very similar labeled very well so you can see the positive goes on the top and the negative goes on the bottom and then of course if we look at the previous version the 1500 watt unit you get two outlets you get an on off switch you get a couple USBs and a couple gauges this one tells you your battery voltage and this one tells you um, other information your amperage and your AC voltage so very cool now that's the 1500 watt unit let's see what the 3000 watt unit looks like take a look at that it's almost identical except they took one of the USB A's out and replaced it with the USB C so you have an on off switch again you got your battery voltage you got your alternating current voltage and your alternating current amperage you do have a duplex receptacle and you can see they put the new receptacles in which will allow for 20 amps very very nice they didn't do that on the previous version on these AC outlet receptacles now let's go ahead and take a moment and talk about hooking this up 
I have two small lithium iron phosphate batteries wired in a series. They're 12 volt, 12 volt batteries. So here we have 250 amp lithium iron phosphate batteries. We take the negative from battery number one, connect it to the positive on battery number two, and then we take the positive from one and go to the inverter, and the negative from two and go to the inverter and that's how we establish a 24 volt battery system it's extremely simple so now that we have everything plugged in let's go ahead and turn the power switch on and see what these screens look like when they're energized as you can see we have a green light here that's telling us that we are on we have 27.6 volts both of those batteries were fully charged we are producing 111 volt AC and we are not currently drawing any AC amperage. So that's what it looks like. Both USBs are now ready to be used. And if we want to turn the inverter off, we just push this button down. And as you can see, it's very easy to turn this inverter off. As you can see here, some of my favorite stuff to test are these instant pots. This is the three quart model it draws roughly around six to seven hundred watts so we're going to go ahead and push pressure cook it says the lid wasn't quite closed make sure that this one gets ready to start and then we'll go ahead and start the six quart model same thing let's bump the time up to one hour just so we can match uh, what we have here and if you look at the display here you can see that we have 111 volts and we're drawing 6.4 amps currently. Now this other one's starting and it jumps the amperage up to 15.3 amps. That's fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these go. Uh, some of the things that you wanna make sure that you look for when you're gonna be using a power inverter like this is you don't wanna use it in a very high humidity environment. You wanna try to use these things in as dry of an environment as you can. Now the operation temperature of this unit is between zero degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade. And the reason for that is so that the power inverter doesn't produce solarization. And you also wanna make sure that a unit like this has plenty of room around it for airflow so that it can cool and it will allow for proper heat dissipation. If you have bad airflow, it should be away from flammable liquids or things like that, uh, such as gasoline or methane. You don't wanna cause any fires. So just to prevent all that, just make sure that your inverter has adequate airflow and you also want to keep these inverters out of extremely dusty areas now I live in an off-grid environment and I generally keep my solar equipment and inverters and stuff like that on the porch um, to minimize dust that could get into them and I want to stress that this is a 24 volt unit so it's only applicable for 24 volt battery systems it won't run on a 12 volt system before you turn this unit on you want to make sure that you're not going to exceed what it's capable of doing this is a 3000 watt unit so you don't want to plug in something that's going to be more than that you want to make sure that you're staying within the parameters of what this unit can handle when the input voltage gets to 20 and a half volts or lower this unit will give you an alarm it will make a beeping sound so make sure that you keep your voltage above 20 and a half volts and when the voltage gets below 20 volts the unit will shut down and the 8c output will turn red so the light will turn red and you will get a beeping alarm if you want to stop the alarm just turn the unit off and your alarms will go away now this one can work anywhere from 20 volts of input all the way up to 30 volts of input and like I mentioned in this video this thing will put out 3000 watts continuous current which is fantastic uh, 60 Hertz is the output frequency this unit does have AC overload protection so in the event that you exceed what this units capable of if it gets higher than that 
uh, you will receive some AC overload protection. Now the weight of this unit is 3.8 kilograms and this unit also has battery over voltage protection which is fantastic. So when your voltage climbs above 30 volts DC it will protect itself. Now the dimensions of this unit 395 millimeters long 150 millimeters wide and 90 millimeters tall. When you see the green light illuminated it's telling you that your AC output is normal and if that little green light ever turns red it's telling you that your AC output is turned off. Now as we can see this six quart unit has came up to pressure. We're still waiting on the three quart model to do that and it once it does that you can see that the amperage draw has dropped down and the voltage has climbed slightly. Anytime you're using lots of power it will draw the voltage down but once this thing came up to pressure we don't have any problems and that's why you saw the voltage climb. This uh, three quart unit is about to pressurize. So right now we're still pulling 6.4 amps, but as soon as this starts, I'm guessing that this will drop down, probably down to zero. So we'll take a look and see what happens as this second unit comes up to pressure. We're almost there. Now an inverter like this has a lot of things that it can do. So now we're up to pressure. The voltage came up to 26.2, 26.3, and we are no longer pulling any amperage out of the inverter. So as long as these units stay pressurized, we should stay good to go here. Now if they need to heat up a little more to repressurize, maybe you got a little leak or something, then we'll see more amperage coming. But units like this are good for off-grid situations. If you're in a van, if you're in a tiny house, if you live off the grid where there's no power where you're at, or maybe you want to go to a job site and you want to operate power tools or something, you could plug a unit like this into a 24 volt battery system and run power tools. You can run all kinds of things. Maybe you're going to take it camping or maybe you live on a boat. And some of you are wondering why you would choose 24 volt over 12 volt. Uh, 12 volts a lot easier to find but 24 volt in my opinion is a little bit nicer because it requires smaller wires you don't have to spend so much money on really huge thick copper wires so these are nice systems to buy now as this thing is running I'm gonna reach over here and fill this red wire and make sure that it's not getting warm or hot or anything like that and it doesn't feel warm or hot or anything it's actually room temperature to the touch so that's fantastic that's one of the beautiful things about this unit being a 24 volt unit well folks that's about all I have for you today on this video I want to say thank you guys for tuning in today and taking a look at this alpha 3000 watt pure sine wave 24 volt DC power inverter it's fantastic when you look at sine wave inverters they produce the cleanest electricity possible in fact in my opinion this electricity is cleaner than what we get here on the grid at home so if you want to be running sensitive electronic equipment maybe you're running computer systems or backup computers or servers or medical equipment and you want the best electricity possible sine wave inverters is the solution for those issues alpha has done a good job you're not just limited to 24 volt systems they do offer the 12 volt systems this 1500 watt inverter has served me very well I use it all the time when I go camping and stuff and it works very very well clean electricity they're quiet it's not like turning on a generator that has a lot of noise and and you have emissions and scaring off all the animals these things are quiet they're batteries you connect solar panels through a charge controller to the batteries and you keep those batteries topped off so I want to say thank you guys one more time for tuning in to this video if you're interested in anything alpha I'll put links in the description box down below and with all that being said folks again I hope you have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one bye for now everybody